Hello, hello, it's me, Ashley. Some of you may know that I am currently living in Japan right now. I've had a lot of you ask me, you know, what's life in Japan like? What do you eat on a daily basis? What do you do? You know, so on and so forth. So I decided to kind of streamline everything and answer your questions in vlogs. Just nothing too spectacular, just quick, short vlogs. I'm not a professional, I'm not an expert. So I don't know, I kind of wanted just to make something good enough to share. So today I'm going to be sharing with you onigiri. And this is the Japanese sign for onigiri. It's typically um, rice just with different ingredients stuffed inside. You can make it at home. You just, you know, make rice, pick whatever ingredient you want to put in there, such as fish or seaweed or even mayonnaise mixed with like shredded chicken in there. You can put whatever you want in there, but I typically go to the convenience store in Japan and that's their sign for it because it's open 24 hours. I really like the sign, but they are fully stocked with everything you can imagine from healthy foods to fattening foods, any kind of drink, any kind of ice cream. It's a great place, you know, if the grocery store is closed and you need to get something to eat, they're they're a great place to go to. So I walked over and bought an onigiri because I want to show you what it's like. So the kind that I have here cost a dollar and two cents. And this is the kind that I bought. I picked the one with kombu inside. And onigiri has a pretty particular way of opening it. So step number one is labeled right there. Pull it off just like that. And you have to follow the order because if you don't, it'll get all messed up. You have to follow it specifically. So we've done step number one. You can see number two right here. And here's number three. So that's the rice pretty jam-packed inside, and then it's wrapped with nori. Nori is basically the same kind of seaweed that you use to roll your sushi with. I haven't gotten to the inside yet. <laughs> So, like I said, the inside of this one is called kombu. It's a type of seaweed from the ocean. It's a bit salty, a bit sweet. It's really delicious and one of my favorites. Here's a closer look. This particular onigiri has 110 calories. Um, if you look at the label right here. The 102 that you see at the top is 102 yen. That equals out to about a dollar and two cents. And then the bottom where it says 110, that's the calorie count. I typically eat onigiri in the morning if I don't have time to make anything. I'll run to the convenience store and get this. And it's pretty filling. It's pretty good. So there you have it. That's onigiri. It's pretty delectable. Um, you're not really supposed to eat it this quick. It's quite filling. The rice kind of expands. But anyways, it's really good. And I really wish we had this available in America because it's a quick, great breakfast food. Um, it's really filling and it's convenient. It's quick and you can pick anything with any kind of different topping. You know, sometimes I'll take a look and I don't understand always what the kanji reads. But some labels do have that picture added, like the one that I have. That way you know what's inside and you can buy and go. So thank you so much for watching. Again, it's a really short, short, short video about onigiri. Typically, you know, to make onigiri at home, it's way more delicious. But I just bought this just to give you an example of what onigiri is like. So thank you so much.